What is up, guys? Maskerman101 and Input Spark, and we are Yu Gi Oh! ing and Legacy of the Duelist. Hearthstone is better. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> but it's free. I don't less give complicated, a two shit. Yu Gi Oh! is just as fun. Yu Gi Oh! is timeless. Yu Gi Oh! is timeless. It doesn't have characters that the show's named after, and then they just. At never least it show has off. a show. At least it has a show. Well, Hearthstone doesn't need a show because Whatever. it's so much better. Don't talk to me. You're dead to me. Okay, so, fine. So. Oh, you're gonna leave? You're gonna leave? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, okay, yeah, you better not leave. Okay, so anyway, uh, this achievement requires you to have all five pieces of Exodia in your hand, and if you don't know, like, much about Yu-Gi-Oh!, basically Exodia is a classic win condition. There are five pieces, and you have to get all five of them in your hand in order to win the duel. Oh, by the way, there's a new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie coming out with Yu-Gi and uh, the guy he's fighting in this footage right here. What? I don't yeah, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. There's a new Yu-Gi-Oh! The, no. Yeah, with Yu-Gi and, uh, what's his name? Kaiba! I saw the trailer. Okay, they made Facebook. one, like, they made one, like, was it, like, 11 years ago that was, like, called... No, no, there's a new one coming out that's specifically about Yu-Gi and Kaiba. Alright, okay, I don't see how that's needed. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> moving on. Just fun facts. So, the earliest time you can get this is literally, like, the second duel of the game. It's technically the first because it's, like, the tutorial with Yu-Gi and Joey. But this is the first actual duel with Yugi and Kaiba from the classic series. So, um, Yugi, Yugi, this is like the only time Yugi has Exodia in his deck. And, um, what I was doing here is I was stalling because I didn't open up with a good hand. But the key card you want to draw is Heart of the Underdog. Now, what that card does is you can draw another card during your draw phase if you draw a normal monster. So, for example, I drew Celtic Guardian right here. That's a normal monster. So it allows me to draw again. So then, I drew a normal piece, uh, I drew a piece of Exodia, which is a normal monster, and it's going to keep giving me free draws. So, essentially, Yugi's deck is made primarily of normal monsters, and if you don't know what a normal monster is, it's basically, like, yellow, so it's like, it's like, it's Dark Magician, you know, it's like all the stuff I have on the field, those are normal monsters. You know, in Hearthstone, we have really nice orcs. You know, in Yu-Gi-Oh, we have really nice, shut the fuck up, <laughs> just shut up. God. I know nothing of Yu-Gi-Oh. I know nothing of Hearthstone, but I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm pissed off. You have to join the Yu-Gi-Oh the, the Yu army. Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh Bros for life. I'm sorry, but I don't want to waste that much money. Oh, okay. Whatever. I see how I may buy this game, though. Alright, so, um... Um, and there's, um... Uh, Yu-Gi has numerous, um, illegal cards, I should say, because you can't actually play these in the actual game. So, for example, I drew Sangan. It's that thing with the three eyes. It allows you to search your deck for any monster with 1,500 or lower attack points if it gets sent to the graveyard. So, it can search any piece of Exodia. And as you can see, I baited him out right here, and I got my last piece of Exodia. So, what you can do is you can smash it into a bigger monster just to get your search off. And as you can see, with the abuse of Heart of the Underdog and Sangan, I got my five pieces quite easily. So, I really like how they've labeled the story arcs here. Yeah. Um, so... I'm going to show you the easiest way. That was the first opportunity you can get it. I'm going to show you the easiest way to get it. So, it's really simple, and 95% of the time you can get this on your first turn. So, what you want to do is you want to go to the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! arc, and you want to go reverse duel with Seeker. Now, for those of you who don't know, Seeker is a, is a guy, like, just watch Michael's video. You'll, 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 you'll see. Like, he literally gets FDK'd. He goes, pot of great, pot of great, Exodia wins. That's ridiculous. And this guy can. This guy has three copies of each Exodia piece, which in reality you can only have one in the actual game because uh, they don't want shit like this from happening. I assume there's like banned cards and stuff. Yeah, like banned. Pokemon. Oh, banned cards of Pokemon. Yeah, I heard there's like banned Pokemon. I don't know. I'm not. I, I I don't play Pokemon anymore. It's like I, I, I got into it for like I got into it briefly, but I never got into it. So as you can see, I'm getting all these crazy draw cards like Graceful Trading and Pot of Greed, and I'm just searching. Th I'm just searching through my deck. It's really ridiculous. So. I got four of the pieces already, and I go pot of greed, and I get it. I get the last piece. So there you go. <laughs> it's like that simple. You just, win. Just, just go reverse to old play seeker, and I then... I like the amount of gamer score it gives you. 100 gamer score. Thing. That's very generous for how easy yeah. it is. So here's a quick deck profile. You can see it has three graceful charities, three pots of dualities, three pots of greed. Graceful charity allows you to draw three and discard two, which is really good. Uh, so, pot of greed allows you to just simply draw two. So you can like, have broken. this deck... Like if you were to play this game in real life, you can't life. play it. You can't. No, you can't. You can never, never in a million years, you can have yeah. this deck in real life. Goodbye, guys. All right. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to see more, go to the Community Hunter website and check out more stuff. Logging out.